because you're the athletic, how um, Jimmy was talking about your professionalism and then just the way you be able to step in in this circumstance and the way that you carry yourself. Um, what was what, what were those conversations with JB like just about tonight and the way that you approach the game? Um, I think it's just uh, about. I, I feel like I always say the same thing about being ready. Um, I actually didn't know I was gonna play until this morning uh, at shoot around uh, during film, and uh, but all the work I've put until then uh, made me ready for for the opportunity. So uh, yeah, I think just the, the hard part is just uh, physically. You know, I haven't played for for a while, <clears throat> and then come out and play that many minutes just hard on my body. But um, I put the work in and try to stay ready for for that. And then Jared, for you. Um after the Miami game and then the conversation the next day, right. um, there's just kind of been like an, a level of aggressiveness from you guys as a whole. What have mm -hmm. you noticed since those two moments just right. kind of this last week? Uh, just our consistency with the effort, with uh, making the extra play, with every single thing that we're doing. We're not just... I saw JB do it in the press conference. We're not doing this, <laughs> you know? <laughs> we're not doing that. We're, we're being consistent. <laughs> Thank you. Danny? Danny Cunningham, ESPN Cleveland. How will, can you sense when guys that you are guarding are getting frustrated by what you're doing defensively? Yeah, I mean, I feel like everybody can see it. Um, um, but yeah, I mean, it's just what I try to, to, to do out there to help the team uh, uh, win. Uh, and if it's the point guard that is getting off a little bit and, and worrying about me and worry about other things, then uh, then putting their, their teammates in, in the spot, I feel like uh, I'm helping the team. So, uh, but yeah, I can feel um, they're getting frustrated and sometimes I get frustrated for foul calls that I don't think it, that I don't think it was. But, you know, when you play aggressive de defensively, you you put yourself in the situation where um, the referee got to make a decision. And, and uh, but yeah, I can, I can sense that um, throughout the game. Jared, there was a time when they cut it to within four in the third quarter and then you guys closed out on a pretty massive run. What changed after they got it close? Uh, we started to lock in again. Uh, I think in that second quarter is we started to waver against what was putting us up in the first place. And then they kept on getting back. We didn't get our, our how we usually play. And then we finally locked in and said that we're going to finish this game. And uh, we went up by 30 and I felt like a quarter and a half. And that's how we should always play. Darrell, Darrell Ryder, 92 to defend. Jared, uh, you guys killed him in the paint tonight. Um, what's it like when you're able to be so dominant? They know you're coming, and they can't do anything about it. It's just assertiveness. Uh, I did it. Evan did it. Uh, we felt like we were attacking the rim. I, I know they still have some pretty decent uh, rim protectors, but we didn't let that stop us tonight. Uh, I saw some. It was what, like 70 points in the paint. Uh, we just kept attacking. We knew where to go. Uh, even Karras, towards the end of the night, he was going towards the rim. It's, it was working for us, and we didn't shy away from it. And then I want to ask you about you know, JB. You know, a week, week ago he delivers that, hey, I'm not going to let negativity seep in. Right. This team's accomplished a lot. We're on the right path, right. and you guys have responded uh, rather emphatically. Just what it is, is it about him? Mm -hmm. as a coach that you guys connect with and respond so well to me? Uh, he understands us. Uh, he understands the game. He understands that not every day is easy. Uh, we're a young team with high aspirations, and that can lead to a lot of uh, mixed emotions going into the game, mixed press, nothing against you guys. Just like just with everybody, it's just – uh, things could get out of it. Things could get blurry. The line can get blurry. But he's able to hold us down. He's able to still help us find the fun in playing basketball. And that's why I think he's so great. Jimmy. Sure. Jimmy Watkins, Cleveland.com. What do you think of the way Raul is able to stay ready and play at the drop of a dime? It's not easy. It is, it's not easy. I, like you say, he didn't know he was playing until this morning. It's, it's tough to get your mindset ready in what, probably eight, nine hours. But it just shows a level of professionalism, a level of him being ready. And his defensive presence, even though he had five fouls, it's, it's, yeah. <laughs> it's needed out there. When he's pressuring the point guard, when he's uh, making the hard plays, that gets us going. That gets us wanting to play harder.
How do you, I think you said it was harder for you to get yourself prepared physically than mentally. How do you prepare yourself physically in such a short turnaround? <clears throat> I mean, it's just, it's not about today. It's not about what I did after I heard I was going to start the game. It's just what I've done throughout the, the whole season, basically, you know, just trying to find the, the, the right time to uh, to work out, find the right time to, uh, you know, get my cardio, but not too much so I stay ready for something like this you know so it's just uh I think by now after eight years eight years the league I understand it better my body and I can you know see a day that I need more sleep or I need to take it easy on my body and luckily yesterday was one of those days I just you know we had a day off and I didn't usually I go in by myself and run and do something and and I didn't yesterday which it was, I think it was good, um, but it's just that, it's just trying to find uh, a ways and squeezing um, workouts if it's on the road or if it, we're home, uh, just try to, you know, stay uh, stay ready f uh, physically for, for some something like that. Spencer, maybe basketballers.com. Jerry, you already brought up the points of the paint, but when you're physically <coughs> outworking somebody, can you feel that and, and what do you think that does for your teammates, does there, does there come like a domino effect out of that in, in your in your you know feeling and, and you know you're a leader by example as you've said before. Uh -huh. uh, it's le like you said, leading by example. You can kind of feel like just the energy yourself that you're going in outwork outworking the men in front of you as JB says and it's like the talking with Raul or talking with Tony about just <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> trying to bring that extra energy <clears throat> it's contagious it, it really is contagious and it goes from everybody on the bench to everybody in the game even the arena feels that you're working hard and I, it goes a long way John Hart, Sports Illustrated, New York Media Group. Um, how, first off, how would you like us to address you? How, you no, you can say how. It's just, <laughs> I mean, it's something new that everybody now is, you know, bringing it up. But uh, whatever you want. How, Tony, Nero, it's all my name. <laughs> um, and then, uh, notice, you've stolen an inbound the past couple of times uh, that, we've, that, that we've noticed. Um, is that something you're always looking for? Is that situational? What opportunities do you kind of look to sneak in there uh, and kind of turn that? Yeah, I think uh, something I, I try to do, you know, just stay alert every time. I think uh, guys get uh, sloppy and a little, you know, that's what happened. And, and then create frustration between them because I saw I was shooting the free throw after that and they were talking against uh, uh, with each other, you know, mad at each other. So I think it's just sometimes it changes the game. It wasn't the case tonight. We are towards the end of the game, but uh, it's something that, I mean, doesn't cost me anything just to be there, you know, and stay alert. If they throw a bad pass or if they um, get sloppy with the ball, I, I'm there to, to, to take it, you know, and it's all about, you know, grit and, grit and staying alert and staying ready um, the whole time. And then, Jared, uh, with the way that you and Evan played tonight, not having Donovan out there, uh, I don't want to say it's a good thing, but I guess, like, what opportunity does it provide for you guys as a team to um, – to play, you know, in a situation without Donovan and to kind of rely on you and, and Evan like this way. Tonight was about sharing the ball. Uh, I will came in eight assists, Evan three, Isaac five. We were sharing the ball from top to bottom. Uh, Evan and I were aggressive, but without them, we couldn't have scored how we did. We couldn't have been as aggressive. And I think that's what it's all about when you're missing almost 50 points of offense, the team has to find a way to come together and share the ball. Last question, Dodie. Uh, Jared, I think we've asked you this before, but why do you guys celebrate in defense for three seconds so hard? <laughs> uh, you know, uh, <clears throat> it was about two years now, JV was like, Jay, just stand in the paint, stand in the paint. They're not going to call it. And it was, start selling me, he said, celebrate look at the bench and you know blame it on them so i just took it and i just ran with it you know if we get a three second call we're playing our defense and we're we're doing something right <laughs> no problem <laughs>